Conspiracy theories. A belief that some secret but influential organization is responsible for an event or phenomenon. In simpler words, a conspiracy theory is when something is not what it seems. For example, the ancient pyramids. These are believed to be built by the humans that were alive at the time, 2500 BC, 5000 years ago. But after thinking a little deeper about it, you start to realize that it seems kind of impossible. When you take into account that just one of the 2.5 million blocks that it took to build the pyramid could have been up to 70 tons, which is 140,000 pounds, which is basically like carrying 50 cars on your back. Not to mention that the quarry that these blocks were taken from was over 500 miles away from where the pyramids were actually built. So how were humans with zero technology able to do this by hand? Some believe that it was with the help of aliens. Now, I know it might sound absolutely absurd, and most of you have probably heard of this before, but not like this. But yeah, that's a conspiracy theory. Now, I, like many of you guys, can't seem to get enough conspiracy theories. Now, if I'm being completely honest, for the past two weeks, I've been scouring the web to find some conspiracy theories that really shake me to my core. I wanna be afraid to go to sleep at night. And as fun as that is on the regular internet, it's just a thousand times more fun on the dark web. So I did what anybody else would do, and I went to the dark web, and I searched tall and wide to find the scariest conspiracy theories, which I have found. Now, like I said, I found a bunch of conspiracy theories online, and originally, I was gonna put five of them in this video. But after doing my research and writing out about just one of them, I came to the conclusion that I have to turn this into episodes. And that makes me so happy because I am absolutely in love with the thought of another series. So based on how you guys react to this video in the comments below, I'll be making a whole series on these conspiracy theories that will be absolutely mind blowing to you. So let's start with the first conspiracy theory that caught my eye, the ancient pyramids in Egypt. I don't know how they did it. All I know is they did it. I don't think anybody knows how they did it. So like I said, I'm almost 100% sure that you guys are familiar with the speculation about the ancient pyramids. By the way, if you're wondering who is this guy and why should I listen to anything he has to say, I actually do very extensive very, very annoying research on everything that I talk about. So you can guarantee that everything in this video is 100% reliable. And actually it's so shocking. Like I like to do my research and then share what I found with my friends and family. And if they end up like this, then I know I'm gonna do a video on it. So this one, trust me, you're in for a ride. So make sure as always, you got your snack, you got a blanket and you are not by yourself. Actually, it doesn't matter because the aliens will catch you anywhere, but let's get into this. So the ancient pyramid theory is probably something that you're very familiar with. Like two years ago, everybody started talking about it and it became this huge thing. How did they make the pyramids? How did they build the pyramids? But dude, I found the craziest information that no one is talking about. And I don't know why, because it's literally there is cold, hard proof of it. And it's so obvious that it has to do with aliens. Like it's, there's no doubt in my mind that aliens helped with the pyramids. Let me explain. So the ancient pyramids are absolutely stunning. I've never seen them in person, but obviously in like movies and photos. But the thing is, you never really know how big they actually are. And that's because you only see them in photos. And most of the time, the photos are from very far away to capture the whole entire pyramid 
and you're looking at it from your phone so you don't really know like how big is this pyramid well let's put it in perspective here i'll show you a couple pictures right here and you could see just how big the pyramids are i mean the blocks are almost the size of an actual human and it's not like these pyramids are just built with like a bunch of blocks and they go up into a triangle no they're actually hollow on the inside they were apparently used as tombs which is um where they would put the caskets of the leaders and stuff like that that's 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 why i know about the inside of it but i'm not too worried about the vaccine about like who was in there and king tut no 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 i'm i'm thinking about the aliens bro and let me put some in perspective for you like i said these blocks some of them up to 70 tons okay like i said 140,000 pounds like 50 cars almost cut from a quarry 500 miles away so obviously in your head you're already thinking like how is that even possible and although there's a lot of diagrams and stuff about how they move these ginormous stones across 500 miles which mind you from here to space is 50 miles so imagine going from here to space 10 times with 50 cars on your back for one block out of 2.5 million for just one of these pyramids to do that would take an insane amount of technology even today like we would need excavators and bulldozers and and like even then it would be like a an impossible task like not impossible because you could do it but dude why would you if my dad was here right now a hundred percent he would be like yo like i used to do that when i was your age that trust me it's a walk in the park but to us obviously we know that that's that's impossible that seems impossible of course like i said they have the diagrams but they don't show much and they don't make any sense because it would take like 20 years to build one if they're lugging one at a time like once a day that would that would literally that would take so much longer than 20 years. What am I saying? Not to mention, they didn't have Dr. Shoals, like, you know, those things that you put in your shoes if you're like standing up for a long time at work or something. It makes it comfortable. It's like gel when you like walk. Like, they didn't have that. They're walking around like twig sandals, bro. How the hell are you walking around with twig sandals carrying 50 cars on your back 500 miles away? Okay, okay. Now let's get into the terrifying theory that I came across. So, yes, this is a theory, but like I said, there's a lot of facts about it. It's not just some mumbo jumbo that some random dude put together. No, we're talking history channel. We're talking the news stations. We're talking about real archaeologists, astrologists, like everything that you could think of scientists. Everybody was involved in this theory, like real people that are proficient in, in their studies. They don't just come up with random stuff. These are people who actually have experience and and all that right so that's why i kind of started trusting it you, you know you can't trust everything you see online but i definitely trust this so let's start with the first crazy fact and that is that the mayans who mind you were about i think five thousand miles away from the egyptian civilization at the time also had pyramids around the same time the egyptians and the mayans both had the same idea to build ginormous pyramids that defy everything we know today. Yes, you heard me right. Two civilizations very, very far away from each other both decided to build pyramids okay like as far as i know they had no contact with each other it's not like the mayans saw them building the pyramids on tv and were like bro hell no nah. like they're not about to have this luxury lavish pyramid and we're not like let's go build some look it up online let's see how to build it nah 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 do you know what they say led them to build the pyramids both civilizations say this the mayans and the egyptians have legends about how the gods came down to them and literally gave them instructions on how to build the pyramids. Just think about that for a second. So let's talk about the Egyptians. They had a god named Thoth, which was the god of architecture. They drew him in a lot of like hieroglyphics or scriptures or whatever as a man with like a bird head, okay? And he's known as the god of architecture and he's the one that taught them how to build the pyramids. They gave him all the credit. They say he literally taught us how to build all the pyramids at Giza and whatever. Let's say you're the guy that came up with the idea let's say that there was no god by the way when i say god they referred to it as god because they didn't know what an alien was they had no travel to space they didn't even know what the moon or the sun was at the time it was very long ago like neanderthal almost they didn't know like what an alien was they referred to it as god so every time i say god i'm talking about aliens okay back to what i was saying imagine you're the guy that came up with the whole idea for the pyramids you're like hey what up king tut like let's build this giant freaking pyramid i i have the layout i know exactly what to do and then king tut's like i'm gonna go tell everybody that somebody came down from outer space and told me how to build this like you would just be like bro what the like what is wrong with you 
Like, I assassinate you right now. Like, I literally came up with this whole entire life-changing idea to build a giant triangle, and you're gonna say that an alien told you how to do it. That's not fair. And that guy would tell this guy, and this guy would this guy, and this guy, and this guy. Like, the story would travel, and there would be, like, a debate. But no, there's no debate. Everybody believed this Thoth, god of architecture, came up with the idea. No one's behind it. Now, let me ask you a question about this pyramid. How many sides does this have? Most people would answer four sides because when you think of a pyramid, you think of four sides. Well, this is probably going to come to a shock, but you're wrong. It actually has eight sides and those eight sides were not just built accidentally. No, they were built on purpose. As the hieroglyphics literally say, they made the eight sides on purpose because the gods told them to. Now, we never knew they had eight sides until literally recently, somebody was flying over the pyramids just at the right time. They took a picture of it. Only two times a year can you see all eight sides because the sun and the moon or something, something about that, the light has to cast perfectly on all eight sides and you see the shadows. So not only does it have eight sides, which would take extreme mathematics, but they were also aware of how the solar system works. They didn't even have a telescope. They didn't even have glass, bro. How do you even like think about the solar system? They knew how the solar system worked because of the fact that they made this for the aliens. Now, another thing to think about is, have you noticed how, yes, the pyramids do look cool from ground level, but they're really, really beautiful from the sky. They were built to be looked at from above. These guys didn't have no helicopters or planes or nothing, nothing. They, they were on ground level at all times. So tell me, why would you spend so much time and effort to build something that only looks truly beautiful from the sky? It doesn't make any sense. If you think this is crazy, just wait, cause I'm about to blow your mind. So let's get into the next fact. The pyramids have way too many hidden messages okay like i'm talking so many but i'm only going to talk about two or three of the most important ones that actually made me like step away from my computer and be like bro what like this can't be real and i do more research and i realize it's actually real okay the pyramids are built in the exact center of the earth's land that that's that's the fact i know you think earth is a circle like literally anywhere could be the exact center but that's what they say. They say it is perfectly aligned on the north-south axis, which is crazy, right? Not only that, inside of the pyramids, there's two shafts and they both point directly at the Orion's belt, which is like a bunch of like stars or whatever. Something about the solar system that's completely weird. And th they say that th that's where the gods came from. Okay. They point directly at it. If you took a laser and you turn the laser on and it went straight up, it would point directly at Orion's belt. Here's the crazy part. The Mayans did the same exact thing bro two shafts pointing directly at orion's belt bro like how weird is it i'm dumb trust me i'm baby dumb like i need to explain things to myself in simpler terms trust me i'm not smart these are big words i know but just like try to understand how crazy this is right so let's continue this is insane what i'm about to tell you so if you took apart every single block of the great pyramid you took it all apart and you had all 2.5 million blocks or whatever and you put them all side by side do you know exactly how long it would be 365.242 cubits long I don't know, cubits is a form of measurement i think they used it back then or something i don't even know if they had measurements or whatever but that's how long it would be 365.242 cubits long okay so you're probably like what, what's so weird about that well how long is one year exactly 365 days 365 365 oh that's not weird enough for you how long is a year exactly 365.242 days down to the quarter day 365.242 cubits long and one year exactly is 365.242 days not crazy enough for you no 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 i get it you're hard to impress so let me blow you even hard pause let me blow your mind even harder okay the only thing in the whole world that is stopping us from going and traveling to other planets and like trying to see if there's anyone else living in our solar system or even another solar system the only thing that's stopping us from doing that is that we don't know how to travel at the speed of light one thing stopping us the speed of light we don't know how to travel at the speed of light if we were able to travel at the speed of light we'd be able to shoot through 
and like get to wherever we wanted to go it would literally be like boom so look right here flash is gonna come from here okay so that was pretty fast right from the moment that my flash turned on to the moment that you saw it that's how long the speed of light is you don't even notice like how fast that really is let me tell you how fast it is the speed of light is two nine nine seven nine two four five eight meters per second Okay, two nine nine seven nine two four five eight meters per second. Exactly nine numbers. That's how fast the speed of light is, bro. I'm about to blow your mind now. If you take the exact coordinates of the Great Pyramid, like the exact coordinate, do you know what the number is? Two nine nine seven nine two four five eight, bro. That is the exact coordinate of the Great Pyramid. What the f bro? Nine numbers. If you're wondering, that's a one in one billion chance that that happened. That's a one in one billion chance that they could have guessed that, okay? Do you think that maybe the aliens told them to put that there? Like this big giant pyramid, like, yo, put this right here because later on when you discover about coordinates, you're gonna discover that this is gonna teach you how to travel at the speed of light. Or this is gonna teach you how fast you have to go to get to the speed of light. And this will teach you how to reach us. Do you not think that like at all? that that's kind of freaking weird because i truly believe there's no way that this is all a coincidence but you know let's have some fun let's say i don't believe none of that let's say uh all that's a coincidence what else you got okay i'll tell you what else i freaking got so let me spit another crazy fact at you right there's a bug like an actual insect it is called a scarab it kind of looks like a beetle or whatever and it pushes a ball of dung or like poop or mud or whatever it pushes this ball across wherever it's going in a perfectly straight line. Okay, hold on, hold on. You're probably like, what, what the hell is this guy talking about? What does that have to do with anything, right? Hold on. In 2013, we just discovered, we just discovered, and that's only like 10 years ago. We, after doing extensive research on this bug, we found out that it uses the light from the Milky Way galaxy to travel. It's the only insect on planet Earth that uses the light from our solar system to travel which is just absurd right like like if you ask me right now yo where's the milky way galaxy i think i would probably faint because of how hard that question i not even an, an insect have no idea where the milky way galaxy is don't get me wrong i know what it is i just don't know where it is if i tried to point it out i was like i'll probably aim down i have no idea where it is this freaking bug can navigate using the milky way galaxy now why is this so interesting why did we study this bug to to figure out its importance well the egyptians hold the scarab as a sacred symbol it symbolizes a link back to the gods now mind you obviously they did not have the technology or the knowledge even to know that this bug used the milky way galaxy they don't even know what the milky way galaxy is but they know that this bug for whatever reason has a connection to the aliens or the gods as they say so they drew pictures of this bug everywhere like they praised it because it knew about the gods how would they even know that unless like I, I don't know how that would have even came to be but that's just another fact that aliens visited earth like not a fact but you get what i mean that it's very like weird that's weird out of all the bugs they could have drew a camel they could have drew a freaking horse. I think they had horses back then. They could have drew anything is my point. They could have drew anything, but they drew a freaking scarab, a bug that I knew nothing. I didn't even know what, what kind of bug this was. Literally new information for me. You want to know what the hieroglyphics also told us? It told us that the Egyptians viewed the sun as the God's chariot. Okay. If you don't know what a chariot is, it's like a, a way to travel. They literally called it the God's chariot. Now, okay. That could be a coincidence, right? After all these things, i told you apparently this is a one coincidence right but let me let me explain something to you that i literally started thinking about when you look at the sun you're literally like ah like you know you're squinting okay it's freaking bright man trust me i spent a lot of time looking at the sun because i'm stupid but think about that the sun is very bright and you squint when you look at it now in every movie that you've ever watched about aliens where a ufo just pulls up on the block everybody that's in the perimeter of the ufo is like this oh my gosh bright light bright light have you made the connection yet this whole thing about the sun is the god's chariot that doesn't seem so much like just a theory anymore it just seems like a fact like a big white glowing thing flying across the sky 
do you think that maybe it was an actual event that occurred in the beginning of this whole pyramid stuff that the a ufo a very bright ufo landed in the middle and people and, and aliens came out and blah 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 like you don't think that that possible at all i don't know dude to me it's like everything is adding up right but dude after everything that i saw and read too many things added up for this not to be like bigger of a issue than it is why are we not like pursuing this well, like as our main source of like information for aliens this is so real bro this is so insanely real i want to know what you guys think did i sound crazy through this whole video because i've been like skeptical like can i even make this video without without being like admitted into a psych ward by my friends and family like i don't know um i thought that it was absolutely insane maybe it's just because i'm really fascinated with like aliens and life outside i mean with over like five billion planets near us or something like that i don't know it's kind of impossible that there is no life out there and it's also kind of impossible that they haven't visited us maybe like in the very early stages and they're like hey these people are not where they need to be yet we're gonna let them grow as a civilization we'll visit them 10 million years from now when they're like us when they could travel at the speed of light, when they can make AI technology. What if the aliens told us how to build the pyramids to see how dedicated we are, to see if we could grow as a civilization? And maybe I'm getting too deep into this. I swear to God, I don't smoke weed. Um, I'm fully sober. <laughs> but I'm going to be doing another episode to this next week because it's so freaking fun, dude. Like, I've been searching so long for like conspiracies and i found some insane ones and i think that next week we're going to be talking about a certain island on planet earth that nobody with a sane mind should ever ever visit because there's some people living there an actual like colony of people that are not very welcoming so if you guys want to see that let me know in the comments i really love doing these videos and i would love to do another one next week let me know if you guys enjoy this video it's been your boy sherman and i'm out peace